Do you find yourself in challenging situations? Are the events of your life full of drama? Do they play out like a soap opera on television? In this video, I want to introduce you to a construct called the drama triangle. This is a construct that supports us in understanding the different roles that we see playing out in our world. And it allows us to take those rules and recognize that they are simply a reflection of something that is happening within us. The drama triangle consists of three key roles that we perceive in these dramatic situations for us. The first is the hero rescuer, the one who says, I'll help out, I'll save the day. The second is the villain or perpetrator. This is the one who blames, who um, causes the problem, who um, tells you that you're not good enough. And then the third rule is the, the victim. This is the person who says, if it wasn't for everyone else, I wouldn't be hurt. So let me explain this triangle and these different roles through an example from my life. A number of years ago, I was working at a bank and I was leading a global program of work uh, to deal with a large uh, regulatory initiative that was impacting the financial services at the time. It was a challenging piece of work. There was many, many stakeholders and many people interested in knowing uh, what was going on with the program, what our plans were, what we were achieving and whether we were meeting our milestones. Um, I was pulling together a large team and trying to get it done as best I could. Um, in many ways, I reflected on it as me being the hero, the one sorting it all out, the one taking all the pressure day in, day out, and leading us to good outcomes. So I very much, in one way, saw myself as the hero in the situation. But with it being a large um, implementation program of work, we had to work very closely from the business side with technology um, and often technology can be challenging to work with in terms of getting the right resourcing at the right time, um, explaining the needs of the business in a, a logical way and a clear way that allows technology to give what you need when you need it. I was on a call one day with the head of technology and many other stakeholders as well, but it was predominantly a conversation between myself and the head of technology at this bank. Um, in the midst of that call, um, I very much felt called out um, and I very much felt blamed by this head of technology for not engaging his team sooner um, and supporting them earlier in recognizing the impact that this was going to have and the need for technology resourcing. Um, in the midst of that, I saw him as the villain. We had um, made efforts to reach out previously, yet his teams uh, and the people who work for this technology had, had not engaged with us um, in spite of our attempts. So yeah, I very much set him up as the villain of this situation. And to complete the drama triangle, the person who saw themselves as the victim um, was in effect my boss. Uh, she came into this situation or was pulled into this situation by the head of technology and by myself. Um, and she got in effect that pressure from the head of technology that her team wasn't liaising with him in the way that he wanted. So the blame towards me was passed on to her. And in effect, she felt like she should have, she had been blindsided by it and was in fact the victim of the situation. So I've been telling you a story. I've expressed a story of the rules that each of these people, one of them being myself, 
played in this situation on this program of work that I was involved in. Me as the hero, the head of technology as the villain, and, and my boss as the victim. You can see the drama that was playing out, and you can see how um, it comes from the story that I have created. But as I've said many times, all is in consciousness, all is mental and comes from within. These rules, these perceptions have been created or had been created within me. In some ways, it started with the dynamic of me setting myself up as the hero in the situation and then struggling when that was questioned. This is what happens in the midst of the drama triangle. Many voices were raised in the midst of that search situation. Um, many accusations were leveled. Many side conversations were had between various people. And all of this just adds to the drama of the situation. Okay. So how do I remove the drama from this? How do I collapse the drama triangle? It starts with releasing the role that you are playing. Internally, I release my identification with being the hero. I let go of needing to fix things and make things right. And instead I become a collaborator and someone who supports um, and aids others in achieving what needs to be achieved. And at the same time, I remove the projection of the villain onto um, the head of technology. I let go of calling him the bad guy. And I say he needs some help or support in understanding what is needed. He needs support in letting go of his fear and frustration. Um, and I have a role in supporting and coaching um, and working with him to do that. And in terms of the victim mindset as well, I can support in that and allow um, my boss to see her power in, in the situation as well, that she has a say and she can come in um, and support me and support the head of technology in working well together. We release our identification with the rules that are in play. Predominantly, I release them within me. I forgive the judgments that I have made in consciousness that create them. And what that does is release the beliefs and the identifications and the projections and allows me internally to come to a place of peace. And when I'm in that place of peace, the sides of the triangle reduce in size, they contract together and come back to the place of unity. And when I find that peace within, when I look outside, I see peace outside. And that is the collapsing of this drama triangle. I invite you to reflect on how you have created these drama triangles for yourself in your life, how they are a projection of what is within you and to consider how you can collapse your identification to the rules within your triangles and bring yourself back to that place of peace. I hope you find that useful today. Uh, please share your thoughts in the comments and I look forward to reading them. I really hope you have a great day um, and I'll definitely speak to you again soon.